you were skateboard P, I was skateboard T. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. that was, you cannot tell me that wasn't my pop. You feel me? Like, and I really like. <laughs> Did he know him. that though? Yeah, you know what's crazy? He didn't have he didn't have kids at the time, and he wanted like he wanted kids, and he would be like, "Yo, she called me her pops." Like he was really proud of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, but he could he really understand what that meant though? Like knowing what probably, you've been through with your pops and how triggering. No, yeah, he didn't he didn't know any of those things. You gotta think about it. Like for me, walking in, I was really like his baby twin. You know what I'm saying? Like we both from the day we met had on damn near the same fit. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like, oh yeah, she really is little me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's really my little nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's and that's what it was. And he he was, you know, um, like a, a figure to me in some sort. You know, so it was just like to hold you at such a pedestal. And you know, at the same time, you know, he's not confrontational at all. He's literally one of the few people in just the whole wide world. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't that he didn't protect me. I just think a lot of hands started going into the cookie jar you feel what i'm saying and he didn't you know like it's p like he not about to be like no all y'all niggas back up you feel me like you know maybe he was hurt about some things and maybe you know what i'm saying you just you don't know maybe it, it could have been a thing of pride and ego at the time we don't know to me as a 15 year old was you didn't protect me you, you let everybody mis- mishandle me you know what I'm saying when I sign to you you know that's really deep that was a little deep she did get a little vulnerable there yeah and at the same token let's say this first and foremost before we get this conversation started I really really want to give commitment to Pharrell you don't see him in the, in the, in the, in the news mm-hmm. he took her under her wing under his wing and said hey let me let me help you out. Yeah. He took her as a sister, more so. She seen him as a father, a pop. He seen him more so as a daughter in some way because he wanted kids. But at the same token, let's treat this as a brother-sister situation for the time being. Cool. Let's give him his props because he did do something big. She actually, let's give her her props because she don't have to be mature enough to say maybe that man was in a space of his own. And maybe he is in his, you know, his ego. Maybe it might be this. I'm not going to hold him to it because I hold him to a pedestal for the things that he did do for her. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give him thanks just like she did. Cool. Now let's get down to the, the deep part of this. How do you feel about her expecting him, Miss Tayana, expecting Pharrell to make her feel safe in a way? To make sure that that support that he was already showing as a pop, as a father, as a protector, he didn't he didn't execute as she seen fit. How you feel about it? I feel like that's pretty expecting, which is usually you know something that uh, when we're put in those positions, we expect people that we are close to in these moments and these uh, in these time frames that we are in these moments to protect us. So that was no, I I feel like that's normal for her to have had expected that, especially as her being the age of 15 at that time. But hopefully now as an adult woman, she looks back on that and can say, well, like she just said, maybe he was hurt and going through some stuff and maybe he did protect me. But at the same time, maybe I shouldn't have expected so much of a person just because I did look up to them in a certain way and they looked at me a certain way. That doesn't automatically grant you protection from that person. That's what you mm-hmm. expected. Which is why, you know, like I said, we st- we need to stop expecting things of each other that the other person doesn't know you expect. You know what I'm saying? You would think that he would think that it was a given of him to just protect her. But maybe in his eyes he was seeing it differently. Or maybe Especially he thought he did protect her. Especially when he's walking around saying, that's my daughter. Like, he's literally yeah. saying, that's my daughter. So in her brain, as a 50-year-old, her daddy been in jail locked up for like 13 years of her life. You know, the mother had a boyfriend, and he got killed. And, you know, I mean, it might have been a husband, I'm sorry. might have been her husband at the time, fiance, whatever he was. And he got killed. So all these male figures in her life stripped away. And yeah. all staying close to her is for real. And he's saying, this is my daughter. This this my daughter. This my my road dog, my nigga. This my mm-hmm. daughter. And so I understand. Cause that I would have just been the same girl. Thing. Thank mm-hmm. you. I still say it to the day. And I, you know, she kinda made me 
remind but, myself that my counseling ain't done. That's why a lot. That's why I mean. That's another. That's why I don't deal with a lot of people anymore because the things that you expect from dealing with people and being the person that you are to them. You expect these things, and when you don't see these things being portrayed, or you feel like they're not handling these things, you feel some type of way. And like I said, maybe he did protect her, and it just wasn't protection how she saw fit. Correct. And I understand that because men come at different different stages. And I hope y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but here's the stages that they come at. They can be really gentle, really unstreet by just soft and loving and caring and seeing things as i got my own problems your problems i take them on if i need to but hey i love you from for what it is but i don't have to be in those problems some men are very aggressive to where they will actually take control of your problems and say let me take this off your back let me do this for you let me show you what a man's supposed to be like let me protect you in the way that you've never been protected let me treat you how you're gonna be treated they got some kind of men. Men come at levels. For real, the way mm-hmm. he portrayed him is to be very gentle, very caring, very, you know, this is who I am, but I cannot put myself at those ex- in those expectations of what she I needed. Mean, and she didn't even voice her opinion. And we don't know what this, pr- and we don't even really know um, how deep or what situation this was about, or if he could have done anything about it correct you're right um, men do come in different levels so you know you kind of have to weed out which one you got at the time and it seems like he was kind of soft and gentle and he's not gonna uproar at anybody like his protection i think he does that probably in the most gentle way as possible in the most mm-hmm. non-conflicted way as possible which is okay too that doesn't make you any less of a man or it doesn't mean that you doesn't that you don't protect people you just choose to go a different way about it and to be sure about this I believe the protection she was looking for from him because, like she said, people were sticking their hand, their hand in the cookie jar, meaning they were starting mm-hmm. to take funds from her, food from her mouth in, in, in mm-hmm. a sense. And he didn't have either the authority to stop it or he just did not stand up for her in the way that she expected. And that's cool. You know, that's part of the game in the first place. Rap game is a game. It Thing is. is the, the, the art that she's in, it's a game. You know, you got to be able to trust the, the, the accountant. The people who dance with you, the people who sang with you, your your choreographers, you got to be able to trust that they're not going to backstab you in this game. Mm-hmm. But so you that can't. was her trust. Everybody was looking trust. for a diamond, you can't. Even when they um, become producers and start getting people up under them, they're looking for a dime back on you. Yeah. So yeah. you can't really, you got to be careful who you trust. You really do. I, um, I really like this because people in a whole have to think about the expectations we put on the next person the mm. and, it, and it's crazy because you're really reflecting your own problem onto that next person it ain't even always about the expectation i expect a man to keep me safe but why because of my childhood because mm. ain't no man kept me ain't no man kept me safe in my childhood ain't nobody to feel in the man form, we always got women around us for the most part. You got your That's mama, a good point. you know, you got your aunties most time. It's some women, it's a woman sitting around somewhere to show another girl. It's some woman sitting around somewhere to show another boy. But the men, especially in the black community, lack being that present person in children's lives that they need to have that safety, that security, that affection, that touch to say i love you i'm gonna be there for you if anything happened i got you yo you know if you're back up against the wall i'm gonna make sure i'm right between it that's because and they're not taught right black men not. it's mostly black men i can't even put it on all races because most of the black men they aren't taught or led right from the time that they're put on this earth no nope. they really aren't and white men they seem to know the recipe to get a woman at home and you know have the whole thing together they working and doing what they got to do i mean not saying that ain't no white dad beat people out there but they, you know they they portray it as if they got the whole recipe together and they know how not to abandon their families as much as black mm-hmm. men but black men they're raised on the papa was a rolling stone like we got a whole song about it that the, the community loves papa was a rolling stone like we cherish that song you can't tell me we don't we love that song in the black community and they're raised up on it's okay to 
be a man and cheat and just run around and do you know like that's what that's the stones that they're made on that they're um being taught these from their fathers like the fathers get mad when their daughters when they find out their daughter's having sex but letting them find out their son having sex oh you got you some son you got you some you got like, you go get some, some head from that girl son. back there you 14 like, today like, <laughs> it's all double standards <laughs> at the end of the day okay and men should be more gentle and kinder to each other so that they can talk about their emotions and how they feel and maybe be more open to going to therapy because the, like a, a, we have a good bit of us who just don't care for therapy and men y'all, say, we definitely need to get y'all in there let's give props to Iyala I believe I said it right Iyala Van Zandt mm-hmm. um, because she recently did a show where one man had 34 kids if I'm not mistaken about 34 yeah, he had like, yes and he had about mm, I believe four possibility or something like that don't quote me on the number with that one but it was 34 kids and it, it went national it went very national to the fact that she was able to put other men relating to him actually had almost 18 when you kids. know we got a cousin that got a lot of kids we, do. we got a cousin with almost 17 kids if i'm not mistaken and it's it's unhealthy but it's, it's, it's very unhealthy. But the thing is, the men don't want to say, hell, black gender, yeah, black damaged. culture. The they black don't want culture. to admit to their damage. They don't want to admit to their hurt. They don't want to admit to the fact that, yeah, as a man, I operate on this because I have been wronged by the women and by the women that raised me and the women that I have chosen to love in my mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. But then they don't want to admit the that. women who dating that man with 34 kids. She did both sides. I give it to her. I, I about cry looking at the show. Boy, I think you hear the nation, okay? Like me, cause baby, 34 kids. Out of them 34 kids. I got to fight 15 30, baby mamas. 17 baby mamas, if I'm not mistaken. And it was only one. On, you might have been because all of them wasn't on the show. All the baby mamas wasn't on the show. But one of them baby mamas stood out because she said it took one child for her to say, I can't do this. I can't put my son in this. I can't, you know. But the women also have to ask themselves, what is it about themselves that's allowing themselves to sleep with a man, make a baby, after the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, the sixth one, the seventh one? But this is the same thing with these women that got all these kids. What possessed this man to see a woman that got six kids already, but you're going to give her one more or two more or this, that, and the third? Granted, y'all might be together, but you might just leave her and be done, added one more onto the toe. You get what I'm saying? Like, they make it seem like their problems and the things they go through are similar to what we go through as women. Like, you just did the same thing that this woman did, but it's okay. Mm-hmm. Your value isn't depreciated, though. Nope. Bitch, like, please. Not get until you can't interview your Elon, Elon <laughs> love Van Zandt eyes. Know. Like, she made sure to be known. You are the problem. You are the problem. You are men are problem. the problem. They are yes. a big problem. And women will a problem too. We got our problems too. But these men on the internet, they trying to make it seem like Kevin Samuels, he just lit a whole fire. And that shit just gonna burn <laughs> for life. And like these men, they're just golden now. Like it's just like, like I don't get it. Like they really think their shit doesn't stink in 2024. And it stinks worse than ours do. Okay? Just as <laughs> bad. It's a man on Married to Medicine. It's a new couple on up for this season. The season just ended. And he is from Africa, Nigeria, if I'm not mistaken. But he was born, uh, he was raised in Jamaica. Um, after the age of three, he was in Jamaica. Comes back to America, find him American Girl. Now they doctors on TV show. Cool. But everybody who half of somebody got issues with the way he discusses how he wants his woman he wants his woman trained he say trained and that's almost like a trigger for a lot of people training your woman may not be the term that you may want to use in america it's okay to say we we came together i expect this from you i expect this from you and y'all meet together as one compromise but to train somebody like a dog that's not expectation that's a it's a, a, a version of that man. Because not all men feel that. They have to train their woman. Not all men feel like they have to control their woman. Say, hey, if I want food today, you better fix it for the rest of my life. I never yeah, have to cook. Ain't, this ain't is the first mm-hmm. time on the show keeping his kids. 
first time having to keep his kids on his own. Ain't that some shit. What? <clears throat> but she said, as the wife, this is what she's okay with. As if we believe it, don't know. But she's okay. <laughs> she's okay with not allowing that man to do women as they see in society, uh, women duties, and she continued to do both the man and the woman duties. Like, hello, your mother and father. Well, you are okay. okay with that. Like you and we really don't realize that we really be doing that until we old as hell and tired. Like you really don't be realizing that we do everything. Everything. Right. Like that's why it's, that's why when you do have your man that do the stuff that he do, it's like, yeah, you better cherish that because at least he's trying to get up and clean up. Mm-hmm. At least I mean, even if he don't do it often, like cherish what you have because some bitches can't get help. Some bitch, some females be sick as a dog and their husband won't even won't do go that. Up and change the baby pimper, let alone talk about washing the dishes. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? Like the house will be dirty till you get healed. Like, hey, I say have like because like me. I'm okay with doing all the cleaning. As long as if you're going to take the trash out, get the boxes and all this other stuff and do the outside house, you know, do like the outside mm-hmm. stuff for the house. I'm okay with keeping the inside of the house clean and, you know, doing my part, washing clothes, whatever. So just as long as when I ask you to take that trash out the door, sir, you're going to do it. You get what I'm saying? Like, Thank I'm okay you. with that in my relationship. Now, other people, some women like, no, nah, bitch, if I get up and clean, you're going to get up and clean. You know what I'm saying? Like, to everybody's different. To each his own not judging anybody but when we speak of what she's been through it opens up conversations to relationships in general friendships men and women women and women men and men teacher and teaching kids doctors it's expectations of anybody you cross but is those expectations reasonable that's why we got to start teaching protection as um as a necessity like if you love someone you're supposed to protect them at all costs if at all possible. costs you see what i'm saying their heart their soul they you they can't physical. be attached to people and say that you don't care about them and you're just gonna if something happens you're just gonna let it fly that's, what, that's why i don't deal with a lot of people in my life now like i'm like that like you be wanting to deal with people and you really do because there's so many awesome people in the world but at the same time it'd be like Damn, it's a needle in a haystack when you try yeah, to find like <laughs> trying to find good people for one and then find somebody that vibe with you correctly. It's just a lot and it's too much. Like I feel that's why I try to let people gravitate for me. And if you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. I ain't everybody mm-hmm. coming to me. I, you know what I like to think that I'm the most expensive bag in the store for a reason. Like I ain't if I ain't, I ain't for everybody. At all. At all. I really happy I'm really happy she brought this subject up. If you look deeper into her story you'll feel her pain and i hope that I mean, y'all she's go. a very beautiful woman and i love tiana for that but oh, it's yeah. always just been something about her that just rubs me a little bit the wrong way like she's always on point she's beautiful but i don't i just think i don't like her music i think i really don't like her music <laughs> i ain't worried about her her truth i, 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 really I like her on stage music. um if she's you ever seen her perform she's she good, good entertainment but I ain't never really, I don't even know what music she has, honestly. Sorry, I love music. you when as a she person. first came out, I think her first song was Google Me Baby. Like, that's the only song I remember about her um, that was memorable to me. Like, I really don't. And, like, that's why she said she stopped doing music because she felt like it wasn't appreciated. I don't think it was something. Just like, okay, me with poetry. I want to, I love poetry. I could write all day. But maybe that just ain't something that's, that says it's my personality. Like, I think it does. You know what I'm saying? Because right. every time she does music, I just kind of look at it like, mm. but she got bags though. Don't get me wrong. She do. She got, she got bags. bags. She came she a long bags. way. Her performance speak for her. But she, I, I think I would love to see her true side. This is her professionalism that y'all are seeing. I mean, this is her. Did you not watch her reality show? No, I have. Well, I did see the reality show. I did see pieces of it. Didn't I watch feel- the full thing. It's a lot of stuff in there. Like, if you see a few things in there, so a few things in there, you probably would say, say that rubs you a little bit of the wrong way about her. Like, I don't know, but it could have just been for TV. Like, when her daughter, I think her daughter said something to her husband one day, and instead of her correcting that in her daughter, she started siding with her daughter. And, and that's who you have seen that. But that's that who Tiana like, really is. That's who yeah, I see, see her as. In a marriage, in a relationship. In fact, in, even if they were just dating, you can't let your child be just talking to the man of the house like that. 
you supposed to correct it. Like even in my household, if my daughter says something out the way to her dad, and I feel like it's something that she shouldn't be saying in that tone or that manner, I correct it because that's the man of the house. Just how we expect him to talk and treat us a certain way, we're supposed to talk and treat our king of the house a certain way, so that he can treat us queens good too. You get what I'm saying? Like, and that's teaching your daughter also how to treat men in life and just somebody else in a relationship that you you want to treat them with respect. For respect, yeah, it is a respect thing when it, especially when it comes to children. Like maybe but, if I was younger, I would be like, yeah, she right, because the younger me was real immature <laughs> and ignorant, but the older me is like, she should have corrected that girl, you know, like yeah. Oh, but I think that's who she really is, because if you see her, her even in her art of dressing, the nose piercing, the tongue, the, the I mean the lip uh, clips that she be having on, hmm. the the dress uh, clothes that she be. Even in some of her clips in the club, it's just, this is her outskirts. Her inskirts, I really think she's a bad bitch. I really, she think, is. I really think she is my gangster. I do. I can relate to her. Yes, don't, she's a good ass actress. She's a good ass, um, even though I don't like her music, she's a good rapper, singer, whatever it is she does. Because she has a lot of people that listen to her music. I just don't. And she's a good ass bag. You get what I'm saying? Like she's a bad woman. She's always on her shit. I think she got some businesses somewhere. Like she always, she's always on her shit to the point where, bro. Like at one point, I wasn't really aware of the fact that everywhere you look, she was into something. Like mm-hmm. you really would look around, and she's here doing modeling. She's here in this movie. She's over here doing this song. Like she, she's a bad ass woman. Don't take, yep. don't discredit her at all. Like she yep. definitely has made her name in the game, even though it's probably not mainstream how she wants it to be. We know who you are. But one Take of her songs from here, she do speak about one of her songs on this clip that made like gave her like really made her bag. She was at top on that bag. So whatever she made must have really that song must have really hit. Still ain't listening to it. Mm-hmm. If I did, I just don't know that I listened to it. Cause you ain't, I mean, she's a she's a celebrity. No. You ain't gotta like her for just one thing. That's one thing about yeah. celebrities and the opportunities they get. They get to go from playing sports to going into music or going into acting or doing like we get to see all sides. So so you ain't gotta like her for her music unnecessarily. Mm-hmm. She's a, she she's on her game. She's on her shit, and we want to see more women. You know, keep it like that. Just for like real. just seeing more women get to the back. Fuck the relationships, cause all everybody want to talk about is being in love and being in relationships. How about these women that just got to the bag? Fuck that. Like I, I don't even care. Like, cause I, every time I talk about this, I go to think about Rihanna and and Ashanti because those are two that's really hurting my feelings right now. But fuck all of their relationships aside, they got to the bag. Thank you. They rich as fuck. Thank they got you. Money. They ain't out here going to nine to fives like the rest of us. Thank you. And they can rest on when they motherfucking want to rest. They ain't got to get up out the bed at eight eight a.m. to go to a job. Like they did it. So you know they don't did it. her at all. She's She's definitely one in the game. She's a force to be reckoned with. That's what I'm going to say. She really is. And she's silent. She's humble. She's silent. She is humble. I appreciate her for being in the game. Because this is a a great role model for people. And um, she ain't shaking her ass on, on, on stage all the time. So cool beans. Well, <laughs> to get what she need to go at. She, she good. She good. Yeah, she's good. But that was a good topic, and we just wanted to come max you yeah. to the mic right quick. <laughs> I, felt, I finally found the sound effects in here after all of this time. Yo, it's some right here in the, in the side. So, y'all, we looking for some men to test or Testament. interview so y'all can start being guests on the podcast so we need some men to argue with controversial yeah OG need a sidekick OG needs somebody to uh, match his masculine energy on the show so if you're interested and you want to be on the show hit us up on Facebook catch us on Twitter leave a comment let us know you want to be on the show and we'll try to send you a message and See if you're a good fit. We'll try anybody out. We're you not. You already got a podcast, and you just trying to spread doing. up your presence. Come on, hit us up. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, we like to collab, but we're gonna go ahead and head out. Peace in the Middle East. <laughs>